Dysautonomia is a medical condition where the autonomic nervous system is malfunctioning. The autonomic nervous system is involved with the vast majority of the body's organs. It can result in an array of different symptoms affecting most aspects of human life. Patients that have this typically will present to the doctor with problems related to cardiovascular function and that is the focus of current therapies. The autonomic nervous system influences the function of the vast majority of the body's organs. Therefore, the symptoms can be quite diverse. For example, we commonly see that fatigue is a symptom of autonomic dysfunction. This results in poor energy levels for patients. Thinking is also commonly affected. This is termed medically cognitive impairment, but is commonly known as brain fog. The regulation of body temperature is a function of the autonomic nervous system, and dysautonomy patients often have difficulties with thermal regulation. They typically seek environments where the temperature is maintained at a a uh, comfortable level of approximately 70 degrees because they have no ability to warm themselves in a cold environment or cool themselves in a hot environment. Cycles of the body are affected such as the gastrointestinal urinary tract resulting in symptoms related to those areas. Additionally, the cycle of sleep is affected with patients often waking during the night or when they wake up after sleeping not feeling refreshed. The typical diagnosis of dysautonomia is based upon the cardiovascular symptoms that are associated with the condition. This is also the focus of traditional therapies, which are primarily medications that are palliative in nature and address the function of the cardiovascular system. However, dysautonomia affects uh, the, the majority of the body's organ systems and therefore has a diverse array of symptoms. These are typically not addressed by cardiovascular medications. There is, up until now, no proven therapy for patients with dysautonomia. TVAM is a new procedure used to treat autonomic dysfunction, or what is known as dysautonomia. It involves placing a catheter inside a vein that has a special balloon at the end. By inflating the balloon inside the vein, we're able to stimulate the autonomic nerve fibers and improve the function of the autonomic nervous system. This results in a reduction in patient symptoms related to dysautonomia. The goal of the TVAM procedure is restoring balance to the body. Most chronic conditions exist in a state of imbalance in the body. For example, inflammation is commonly associated with chronic conditions. Inflammation is influenced by the autonomic nervous system. The more normalization present in the autonomic nervous system, the lower the inflammation. This has important implications for many chronic diseases, including dysautonomia itself. By restoring balance, we see that not only do the organ systems of the body function better, but the symptoms related to those dysfunctions are also relieved. For example, symptoms related to energy level, thermal regulation, cognition, and function of organs that require cycles such as gastrointestinal and urinary systems are all improved following this procedure. The most common questions that I encounter related to the TVAM procedure are, how likely is this to work for me, and how long will that effect last? We've recently reviewed a series of patients in preparation of a publication in a medical journal, and from, from that we've learned that the majority of patients, in other words over 90% of patients, will see improvements in their autonomic symptoms. In particular, the symptoms of fatigue or one's energy level, cognitive impairment or what is known as brain fog, and thermal regulation are seen to respond with high frequency. Additionally, patients will have a response in organs that involve cycles of the body. So for example, uh, the digestive system, the urinary system, or the sleep cycle may all be affected with autonomic dysfunction and we see these things improve following treatment. The response initially occurs immediately, in other words within minutes patients physiologic function is improved and we measure that with tests performed at the center in addition to patients also experiencing these things from a subjective nature. The effect may be short-lived in a minority of patients and what we have seen over the last couple of years is that 20% of patients will have the symptomatic relief disappear by two months' time. However, we have studied a population of patients of approximately 400 in number that at six months have continued improvements or stability. Additionally, we've been doing this procedure for over three years and we have patients now that have maintained their symptomatic benefits that entire time.